Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to remove an A values from a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data and if you click on this data object you can see that a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data. As you can see, our data frame contains two columns, X and Y, and both of these columns contain numeric values. However, you can also see that some of the data cells in our data frame are an A, or in other words, are missing. So if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 5 and 6 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 6 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint, as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a ggplot2 scatterplot has been created. However, you can also see that the RStudio console returns a warning message that three rows containing missing values have been removed. And the reason for that is that our data frame that we have used to create our plot is containing an A values. So for that reason, it might make sense to remove rows with an A values in the forefront of the creation of the ggplot2 plot. And we can do that as you can see in line 11 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm taking a subset of our data frame where we specify that we want to retain only complete cases of our data frame. So in other words, the complete cases function removes all rows of our data frame where at least one of the columns has an, an A value. And then we are storing the output of this in a new data frame object, which is called data complete. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object has been created, which is called data complete. And if you click on this data frame, a new window opens, which is showing the structure of our updated data frame. And as you can see, we have removed all rows from our data where at least one of the columns had a missing value. Now, based on this new data frame, we can draw our plot again, as you can see in lines 13 and 14 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm using the data complete object that I have just created as basement. And if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that exactly the same plot has been recreated. However, you can also see that this time the RStudio console is not returning a warning message because this time we have used a complete data set. So as you have seen in this tutorial, the plot that is created by the ggplot2 package is the same, no matter if we have missing data in our data frame or not. However, as you have seen, you can remove the missing values in the forefront of the plot creation to avoid the warning message in the RStudio console. So in this video, I have explained how to remove an A values from a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.